the bracket. But White Demons, the track record so far in this regional is quite strong. Even with the loss against BDS uh, in group stage, it was a very close match uh, with the context of those games. So White Demons are not a team to be taken lightly, even though they're new. But you really got to look at Liquid in a different light than you have in previous tournaments. Ronicky in previous seasons, before Season X had started, you know, he was starting to be considered one of the better strikers in Europe, and he took sort of a massive downturn and kind of part of the story of Liquid's struggles this season, but maybe they could start to get things turned around. Depending on how we perform here, or how they perform here against Team, or against, excuse me, White Demons, well, we'll find out, but CRR, he's been all over the pitch this weekend and one of the big names performers this weekend oh yeah absolutely and for and white demons are better for it but just going back to your point about liquid jorby it does feel like we've said this multiple times about this team throughout the season throughout uh the multiple splits that we have it's like okay is this it for team liquid we know that everyone knows the potential the skill that this team has and they just haven't been able to put that together uh through the splits here in rlcs x another opportunity here them to kind of prove themselves. So, I mean, that's exactly what we said before, to say this roster does work. This team is what we thought it was going to be. And this is their, uh, maybe, one of their last chances to do so. And yeah, Ronicky tweeted out before their match right now that, you know, no matter what happens in this final bracket, he's proud of the team and proud of their ability to finally get here and stick through some tough times because not a lot of teams are capable of playing through the trenches like they had to. CRR, high shot, speed, oh. couldn't get there, but the crossbar helped him out. Still, it's in trouble. Dorito sets one up for Tigre. Underneath, oh. he gets it. White Demon strike first. And it's it's what makes White Demon so much fun to watch and what makes them so good. Dorito and CRR do so much of the dirty work inside of the box. And if you stay on Tigre's camera, you see this play develop time after time after time. His two teammates in the trenches fighting for the ball and Tigre perfectly positioned to find the mark when it comes out to him. Well done, White Demons up by one. This roster really is clicking. You know, Dorito and CRR. I, it's funny, watching White Demons play in the green room, so many times I just hear Cole around, oh, Dorito, he's just so good. And I feel that way every time I watch him on this team this weekend. But right now, Dorito will kick this one up in midfield. CRR already up for it. Very fast, but Tigre has to wait. Another nice shot for White Demons. Liquid looking for a solid clear. They're going to get it off the pass from Fruity to Ronicky. Fruity, more pressure. You saw Ronicky trying to harass CRR on the back wall, but just weren't really able to commit any pressure there. Liquid have to start again for the blue half. CRR wanted a piece of three there, and he almost got it. Two go now here from White Demons. A lot of defense being played by Liquid. I think Turtle uh, pointed it out, you know, maybe worried about a slow start from Liquid, and I wouldn't necessarily say it's a slow start here, but it's certainly not one that's explosive. And for Liquid, maybe some opportunity as Ronicky was on the turn and Dorito gets the clear. Yeah, those follow-ups are going to be tough to contend with if White Demons are on top of it like that. Dorito specifically. Nice demo giving CRR a little bit of space. And I mean, this is has been no nonsense from White Demons. They're not yeah. trying to get too cute with the ball, not trying to overextend or really thinking insurance is important. Really just control the pace oh. of the game and ooh, maybe skate some close ones by the net, but nothing too scary for them on defense. This could be a good chance here, Ronicky. Stopped by Tigre. Fruity playing it off the corner, looking for speed, Liquid. Trying to find some sort of threatening chance, but the defense from White Demons, like you said, no nonsense, not having any of it. And that one off the mark there from Liquid, so not dangerous at all. Here's Speed. He wants a piece of it. It goes off the back mm. wall. Liquid still struggling to find the mark as CRR turns it away, but it's becoming more and more dangerous now for Liquid if they can just put one on target. Oh, no. Oh. oh, it's off the crossbar. Two players left without boost on White oh, Demons, and it's off the crossbar again. And Liquid, you got the best case scenario where you have two players completely starved on boost and all you can bang is the crossbar. Oh, Tigre man. nails the <laughs> shot and White Demon swing it back in their favor. And that is a painful goal to let in for Liquid because that ball going off the crossbar, when you got White Demons in the worst spot possible and they couldn't put it away and make it to make it worse, 
White Demons turn it around on an open net and double their lead. It's things like that with Team Liquid that kind of put them in positions like this in matches where you expect them to be competitive or, or look like they do in game specific scenarios, but then they end up hitting the crossbar like that. And then a game stretches out for longer than it maybe should have, or you can't really convert your chances on offense when you have done everything else correctly. It's just the shot accuracy that kills yeah. you. Yeah. And I, I think that's one of those points, Darby, where it's like, you know, when you look back in your Team Liquid, you say, <clears throat> excuse me, we had our opportunity there. there. There was no excuses to not put that one away. As Tigray wants another one, he's just going to take it himself. A hat trick for the man here. Wow. As White Demons put up three, four seconds left to play. And CRR just harassed Fruity the whole way down the field. No chance for him. As soon as Fruity turned around, CRR had already grabbed his boost. So Fruity was already in the, or he was already in Fruity's way. And I mean, that goal was just, why not for the hat trick? Team Liquid got some work to do, but White Demons have a strong start. Yeah, fantastic start for White De Demons. I would say a dream start, especially with the involvement and, and the production they got out of Tigray. Um, it, it was just phenomenal. CRR and Dorito, they did their job downfield as those first two men. Tigre did his job as that third man, cleaning up the shots, but also stopping a lot of the transition from Liquid. So for White Demons, great start here in game one. On the other side, though, for Liquid, it wasn't a horrible start. Look, like I said, it, it wasn't an explosive start, but I wouldn't say it was uh, a slow start either. But you go back to those opportunities that they had, and kind of the point I was making at the end of the game, Jorby, is that was the opportunity to turn the tide of this game. After that, it was all over. Yeah, they they had everything drawn up the way they would want to, and you just saw it right there off the crossbar. That came off of a double commit of two White Demons, play, two White Demons players with no boost. You couldn't ask for a better scenario for Liquid, but they also just couldn't find anything but the crossbar. That's going to need to change <laughs> in game two. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I think they'll have a couple more of those chances like they did where they did break down that White Demons defense. And Liquid did a great job there. That little progression, maybe 20, 30 seconds or so, is what you would expect out of a team like this. And they certainly showed it there. See if they can do it again here in game two and convert. Off the kickoff, Dorito's going to get the better look at it. Takes an immediate shot. Ronicky was there to cover. And CR loves to find those bumps on the back wall, doesn't he? Doesn't really matter how he gets them. Just any way he can disrupt the defense to give his team a chance at the net. He's been doing it all consistently every time he's over there. Yeah. I mean, it's better than the alternative, you know, taking the challenge. It's 100% going to pinch <laughs> in the wrong direction. So, you know, Fruity wanted to find Ronicky. Pass cut off again by Dorito and a nice scoop from CRR. White Demons can get set up on offense, but they see Liquid are in perfect transition and CRR smacks the ball back out to the corner. But maybe Liquid can get it set up here off the ceiling. There's just not a real angle. All the passes cut off so far by White Demons. Good possession, though, here by Liquid, even if they're not finding an opportunity on target. Oh, bumping Tigre in the net, though. This could be it. Speed's touch just a bit wide, but it's good for Liquid to keep this possession. They want this type of control. Right now, they're having to fight for the midfield. It's given up. Now Dorito, he wants to take it all by himself. Bump speed out of the way. Has no help from his teammates there on the transition. It was just too quick. And back into the midfield. Well, CRR got a nice scoop off the ceiling. And luckily for Liquid, speed was right there to block that shot. Nice pass for Prudy to Ronicky. He got over Tigre into the net. Finally, Liquid, while well, you still hit the, uh, the woodwork, you get one this time. Great pass from Fruity, laying it off to set up the bounce right onto Ronicky's nose and a fantastic strike from him into the corner. And for White Demons, there's really not, nothing much you could do about that. After the pass was down, you could see how far back the defense was on the goal line. Ronicky could pick his spot and he did that. 1-0 here for Liquid and a, and a good start for him. They get the possession, Jorby, like we were talking about. And while it hasn't been the most threatening offense, it's been there and that's what's important. Nice touch from Ronicky to get it by CRR. But Dorito got the scoop. Tigre on the there wing, and they got cut off. What a steal from speed in midfield. Liquid, a quick 2 nothing lead. Yeah, Liquid getting some confidence here now, and White Demons, I mean, just a small gap in the defense there, and you can't blame them too much. Speed cut that one out perfectly, and Ronicky in transition, getting back to defense, realizes that he can receive the pass, takes it, 
And a two goal lead now for Liquid. Nice return to form for Liquid where you were thinking they might not put together those quality opportunities in front of the box, but now they've taken the driver's seat. Nice hit off the corner from Fruity and Tigre. Oh, it's no. a massive win on the challenge. Oh. Might even get a setup for a goal, but it rolls just outside of his reach. CRR forced to cover. Yeah, not lucky, lucky that one wasn't in. He couldn't get to it. But like I said, I think Liquid getting some confidence here. I think a best of seven, I think certainly benefits a team like Liquid here to kind of get the feel for what this White Demons team is going to throw on. You can already see the improvements from the first game to the second now. Liquid have a lot more control. You really haven't seen that quick, fast-paced offense that, you know, we saw in game one from White Demons. No, not at all, but they, they've had to been managing clears that Liquid were giving out. It's passes like that that they haven't really been able to commit. Tigre oh goes gosh. underneath what? everybody! Oh, man, Tigre! He's feeling good today. This is a nice one. <laughs> he's looking real good. And Ronnie, he was the last man back. Had boost. The in and out save and just put wide out of the reach of Ronicky and well done from Tigre. He was being attacked by two defenders. He can still get through. Uh oh. And gets White Demons on the board. Here's a kickoff <gasps> though. I just go in off of speed and Liquid get their lead back up to two. You know, speed use tail whip. Super effective right here. Not even on purpose. Oh, my. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, and if you Inertia ask him, is your best that, friend, Corelli. Yeah. If, if you ask him, he'd say that was on purpose. And it, you know what? Knowing speed, it right. absolutely was. Absolutely. Chance is not a thing. <laughs> but for uh, Liquid. Oh, the demo. They oh, got three chances. Oh, Ronicky oh, will punch goodness. that in. <laughs> and you Were know you what, thinking Darby? it wasn't going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> Darby, if you ask speed, this was all calculated. You know, coming off the post, <laughs> perfectly passed out to Ronicky. All part Liquid of the plan. Will, <laughs> all part of the plan. They will absolutely take it. You can see him there <laughs> smiling as well. And for Liquid, though, great progression. I mean, even with the second shot from speed, uh, I mean, pass. Uh, the demo there was great uh, from Liquid to open up the oh. chance. And Liquid looking extremely strong here. Look, Corelli, I mean, Liquid, they are, they've had so many plays like that go against them yeah. this season. <laughs> they can have a few of them. They themselves. deserve Why something not? like that, yeah. You made it to Sunday. Congratulations. Here's a few. Oh, look at that. oh what a block from CRR, though. And Liquid, they have had some great passes here in the final third. Just these lob balls again. On the mark, on the money, right to the uh, to their teammate. Another pass, Ooh. a touch from Fruity. Liquid really feeling themselves in this final third, and it's showing. Dude, how about Fruity? I felt like earlier this season, Fruity especially was struggling in the rotation, but he's doling out passes like he's Casio out here. Five goals for Team Liquid, and it's an easy game too. Yeah, and and this is all because of the possession, Jorby. You you touched on it perfectly just a second ago. The difference between the last game and this game is that Liquid are controlling the pace of the game with the possession. White Demons aren't allowed to wildly move downfield uh, and beat the defense in transition or just with their speed or, you know, this barrage of attack. It's Liquid controlling the pace of the game and you're seeing what oh. happens when they get possession. Even cutting off passes, that's the first one they couldn't get to and the result is a goal for White Demons. But even right there, Ronicky back to take it away from CRR. And CRR still caused havoc. Speed got chipped by him on his way back up. Maybe he can get to it, but that was an awkward look for Team Liquid. Either way, you bought yourself plenty of room with a minute. Yeah. 14 shots for Liquid here in this game with a minute left to play. Versus the five of White Demons. And five is a respectable number. That's certainly not bad. It's just Liquid have put on so much pressure and generated so many chances. See if White Demon's here, 50 seconds to work with, and they could get a third. Comes oh. down to Dorito and turned away by Ronick. He's still Tigre. He's going to have to work some magic if he wants to get his team back into it. It's cleared away. No chance from midfield. Oh, and Ronick, he stuffed him. Pretty a nice touch over to speed, and still, like you said, controlling the game and finding each other in space. It's been every time, every touch is with that sort of intention. Liquid feeling really good right now in game two. Feeling great. Yeah. 21 seconds. This is uh, picture perfect for Liquid. Yeah, four goal uh, lead there. Speed, he wanted a little cheeky touch past CRR, but he went all the way to the wall. And that one just thread the needle really from Fruity. But a four goal lead here for Liquid. They can coast in the final 21 seconds. And so, I mean, if you're White Demons, how do you, how do you fight against the passing from Liquid? They were able to cut off some of the passes before, but 
without controlling midfield as dominantly as they were in game one, they haven't had nearly as much success in that department. Yeah, I mean, obviously it comes down to dispossessing the opposition, but also, you know, the difference I think too was White Demons did a great job of controlling the boost on Team Liquid's side earlier in game one. And Liquid have had just so much time, so much boost to set things up and, and play, you know, the way they would want to play downfield, uh, ideally for them. And for White Demons, they just, they didn't have any, you know, it didn't cause any of that chaos. It didn't disrupt anything that Team Liquid were trying to put together. All of those passes were right on the mark from Liquid. White Demons were either too slow or couldn't cut off the pass in time. Uh, you know, there was a couple goals there from, from Liquid that were a little bit wild, but they were still able to put them away. They were still able to finish their chances. And six goals, there was something going wrong for White Demons defense. Yeah, Ronicky getting four of those goals and everyone getting involved in the assists. No, that definitely backing up what we saw and speed, that nice steal in midfield was really yeah. where the wheels fell off the wagon for White Demons. Tigre tried to bring it back with a solo effort there, but the solo efforts weren't going to get it done. And obviously some fortunate uh, touches that speed got one fortunate <laughs> touch. We won't count that last one, but the, the one where he got it on the tail. Other yeah. than that, Liquid create all of their own luck in this match, and they're looking pretty good. Well, yeah, and they, they certainly, you know, we give them a lot of credit here. Uh, they created a lot of chances, but they also created a lot of different chances, right? They caught up White Demons on the transition. Yeah. They had some great passing plays. They had some individual plays. Like, that is when you see a, t a team on offense, when we talk about a struggling offense or a struggling team, and you see that type of gameplay come out, you start to think and believe in this Team Liquid squad. But hold on a second. It might speak too Ooh. soon. CRR in the first 15 seconds for White Demons gets them on track. Yeah, that's a nice way to start after getting whipped 6-2 in the last one. Ronicky in a top spot, tried to use the back wall to his advantage, but really just not enough time to whip around and make that save happen. A nice stop here for CRR to pick up the follow-up. My Demons would love a multi-goal lead right off the kickoff, but Team Liquid's defense hasn't been the easiest to break through, and they get the clear back to the orange half. We'll see what adjustments White Demons bring here. That's a great pass, setting this one Ooh. up for CRR. The touchdown, he got all of it, but it was straight at Ronicky. He tries to transition, speed up, met by Dorito. And Dorito trying to give it over to CRR. He does. Now CR catching back up to it and cleared wow. away by Ronicky. Good touch from Ronicky. I feel like I've been thinking that every time I've seen him hit the ball. Whether making a great challenge, coming back on the rotation, or plays like that, just keeping the ball away from White Demons as much as he can. Now he's got a little bit of space to work with after the demo that Speed put on. Fruity in pass, but had the traffic from Tigre. Another shot on target, oh. CRR has the block. Ronicky could keep things going for Liquid. Speed right behind him on the rotation. Liquid are running a tight formation here on offense, but have kept yeah. it nice and tidy. They've retained possession and pressure because of it. Yes, it's extremely tight from Liquid, but it's working. And that's why those passes inside the box are slipping through the white defense defense. Uh, <laughs> White, through the White Demons defense because Liquid <laughs> have stayed yeah, have stayed so close, but here's the gap for White Demons and Tigre puts it away, a 2-0 lead. Well, that's what happens. Can't mount enough pressure and you're forced back after that win from oh, Dorito man. in midfield. It was like they were just pushing the wall back slowly and then eventually breaking through Liquid. That one hurts, especially with the pressure Liquid were mounting earlier. And, and that's a, a good goal there from White Demons. Just having a, a player in the right spot at the right time off that challenge. I don't think there was, you know, the thought of maybe crossing that one from CRR on the challenge, but that's what happened. And again, having players there, maybe a third. Ooh. Dorito wanted to flip after it, tried to put it on target. This one does come out towards the box, but Ronicky turns it away. Nice pass from Tigre back to Dorito. Low boost situation though. And they hope to create some havoc and disrupt the offense. Dorito actually stole that boost out, chipped the player out, forces two to commit from Liquid, and it's a loose ball high in the third. CRR tries to set something up, but Dorito waits. Pass in front to Tigre, and he wins the challenge against Fruity, but it will be Ronicky's first, maybe? Yeah, Tigre can't really get the angle. CRR cuts it off back off midfield. Dorito oh, picks cut. it up. No one's back in net. We back around. CRR. Fruity, where's the shot? No, oh. it's not there, and Speed takes it away. Huge chance for a three-goal lead. They might get it here, but Fruity picks up another save. Ronicky in the corner. Whoop, right over Dorito and back to midfield. And you're seeing what happens. Oh my goodness, oh, the oh. sharpshooter from midfield gets Liquid there first. Paints the target. 
from forever away and nails it with power. 110 kilometers per hour. Wow. What a shot from Ronicky. And I was just about to make the point. White Demons, you're seeing that chaos, the speed, and Liquid were struggling to keep up with it. But Ronicky did a great job of finding some space on the wall, get some power behind it, and put it over that last man. With all that pressure from White Demons, it's a Team Liquid goal. Could flip things for Team Liquid here. Fruity, hard kick off his undercarriage. He gets another win against a White Demons offender. Oh, and speeds whiff on the ball. We'll give Rocky a little bit of time. He's got speed downfield, a little bit more boost. Gets by T. Gray on the play. CRR will collect that boost, allow Dorito to push forward. Now last man back, able to make that challenge happen. Speed, one touch across the back wall. He's got two towards the box. Ronicky up high. Oh. Awkward spot for T. Gray, but he made it work. Another challenge in front for Speed. Liquid fighting for every millimeter they can to push into the orange box, but they are thwarted by White Demons. Oh my, big miss there from Ronicky. Bailed out by his teammates. White Demons trying to threaten. Go a back up by two. Dorito, his shot is weak. Easily turned away by Ronicky and Liquid. Happy to see these high clears to space away from White Demons. Forces them to reset and it lets Liquid move down the field. fruity has got to look at Ronicky. Oh, look at that. Like CRR read that. <laughs> Like yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was he must have had a dream about that it. one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, imagine waking up and being like, I know exactly what's going to happen today. Yeah. Incredible. But Tigre might have had an angle. CRR tried to open one up with a demo, but now Speed has the ball in the dribble. Pass to Ronicky. Slows it down underneath. CRR oh. got the save. And Dorito with a crucial follow up for White Demons. But Fruity has the shot. Oh my. Nobody's home. It's open season. Two to two. What happened to the defense? Where'd everybody go? Dorito tried to pinch it on the wall. CRR was pushed up. T. Gray was still coming back. When White Demons thought they were out, Liquid showed up again. They put it away, tie game. Wow. And that was, uh, the defense started so good with CRR's block and then Dorito's follow up, but then the rotation broke down. CRR puts the oh, team right. on his back. What? Dorito confirms the goal. And it's three to two for White Demons. What a maniac coming out the side wall, gets over speed, gets over <laughs> Ronicky with the second touch, and then goes in itself. Dorito gets credit, but it was all CRR to beat the first two men. Oh, Liquid were taking a sigh of relief tying the game, and it was just stolen away from them right off the kickoff. Now Ronicky's got the catch, time running out, speed in traffic, can't make the touch. Tigre got there first. Dorito, well, that one's kicked up. CRR has the ball again, forces the ball back to the corner. Liquid squeezed in the blue half right now, looking for a path forward. Dorito kicks it out again. Fruity able to set up Ronicky for one last push forward. Speed over to Fruity, cut off by T. Gray. The ball loose. Speed got the catch. Dorito flips underneath. Speed around the corner. No way. Oh. It's denied. White Demons take the game. <laughs> wow. I can't believe White Demons let Liquid have so much space there. I suppose they were just going to sit in front of the net, and they certainly did with that save. And either way, White Demons, a bit of a return to form. I think Liquid still got their claws into him here in this game. But for White Demons, you can see, I, I don't know if, uh, chaos is the right word, but I think it's just that that pure speed that White Demons bring. You saw it again. They were able to uh, to really push that liquid defense back, and obviously the individual plays from CRR, CRR. I mean, that is really where White Demons won the game, and for them, uh, uh, another fantastic win here. Yeah, I mean, I didn't feel like they had nearly as many chances as they did in previous games, but yeah. they made the most of the ones they were given, even with that where that easily could have tilted you out of that game and yep. open net to tie it up late in the game. It might go into overtime, turns into a war of attrition. We've seen it tons of mm -hmm. times, but White Demons, CRR in particular, wasn't having any of it. And for, for Liquid, I mean, two of their goals were uh, kind of opportunistic goals, right? Ronicky, the shot yeah. from midfield, Fruity catching out the defense. And that's great for Team Liquid. That's great. But that relies on the defense of making mistakes. And you don't want that too often. Or I mean, it, they'll take it if you get it. But, you know, relying on that against pro level teams is, is not always the most consistent strategy. And for Liquid, they had a lot of opportunity. I'm not trying to say that the offense was bad here. Um, this was a very close game. Liquid coming out on the losing end. But uh, still, I think White Demons got the better of them just just by a hair in that game. It's been by hairs between these two. Well, I guess game two was not by a hair. It was by a whole head. 
Ronicky first shot of game number four. Fruity, no chance for him. Was hoping to buy a little bit more time for speed, but 25 boost and it. Ooh, it's always nice when a corner spawns on top of you. Ronicky makes the next challenge for Liquid and White Demon's back on offense. Still, you still like how Liquid look overall, despite White Demons coming back in that game. You still want them making solid touches. You still want them finding each other in space, not wasting opportunities that they are given. However, White Demons. Oh, my. Ooh, no, what? Tigre got this. I thought it was saved. Instead, it kicks off the bumper, turns what? into a forced own goal. How on earth did this get by Fruity? He had 37 boosts. I, I suppose nice he didn't think he was going to get the touch. He thought maybe speed was going to dunk him, but instead, Liquid give up the first goal white demons taking advantage of the mistake t gray he has been a monster i mean everyone on white demons has played so well here in this series but t gray just Ooh. seems to rear his head over and over again big save from t gray there off the demo and gets his team out maybe all the Ooh. way didn't get the second touch and speed will blast it up to the ceiling yeah getting it done on both halves fruity up quickly to block t gray dorito will keep the push forward now Liquid are in a tough spot again here on defense. As long as they don't let White Demons hang around in midfield, they oh. can create more transition opportunities like this. They do have a pass out. Speed actually gets around CRR on the play, but it's still a little jagged for them on the approach and the rotation. You're seeing those give and goes. They've become so strong here in RLCS, using both players to obviously move the ball down the field, but also that first man going for that demo after giving up the pass. Oh. And trying to take out the defender for the shooter. Liquid almost got it. Fruity was trying to get a piece of Dorito there. But here's Dorito on the shot. You see Tigre coming across for Fruity, but Fruity didn't jump. Now Ronicky wants to take it himself up to CRR to make the save, and he does. Nice pinch from Speed to give himself that space. Tried to make the challenge against Tigre. But White Demons get the clear. And like to push it back into the blue half. Fruity gets a nice touch back to Ronicky. We've traded oh. back and forth. A nice pass. Speed. Oh. He flubbed that shot. Wanted more speed, he got nothing out of it. And CRR can't keep the carry, Ronicky gets the clear. And those passes from Liquid have just been so crispy in this series, in all yeah. of the games, really, even the ones that they've lost. They have Ooh. been so strong in finding the mark. That one is gonna find it for White Demons, a two goal lead now, CRR slips it through. And this one, a little weird how it happened. Fruity expecting a touch oh, from wow. that second man, you saw him hop up. It was Tigre, and he never touched the ball. It gave an open angle for CRR. The rest of Liquid were still rotating back. And that one was put through two defenders there. A small gap, and CRR found it. Maybe another one here is Tigre. Pushed it across. CRR trying to keep it awkward for Team Liquid here. Dorito gets by one, looking for the pass out. Didn't get it. Now the transition's on for Liquid and White Demons. Having to slow this one down. Liquid want to find that passing game again. You see that demo oh. come through from Fruity. Still dangerous here as it comes out to speed. Maybe a second touch, got 17 boost, drops Ooh. it down as CRR turns it away. Still Fruity trying to keep it alive. And it is eventually cleared out by White Demons. The patience from CRR on that block. He might need some more of it. Ronicky kept the ball, but then Dorito kicks it right back. Tough spot for Fruity, but he makes the most of it. Getting the ball right back to speed in midfield. A lot of these challenges or the, or the starts of these plays have always been really high in the air. And everyone seems to have boost in those moments to make a high aerial challenge and try to create that quick high risk opportunity that gives you the, the advantage. But White Demons have held on to this two goal lead for so long and Liquid are running out of chances. They certainly are. And they've put up five shots here in this game. They've had a couple fine chances here for White Demons. Keeping the ball away. Maybe another opportunity. This one just wide. CRR wanted another one. Dorito oh. to dunk it through. A three goal lead now for White Demons. Now, poor Ronicky is just going through the grinder here. Had to avoid a bump. Had to, uh, <laughs> had to avoid CRR. And then had no time to look at Dorito, who already saw Ronicky rotate the whole way back. He saw him five seconds before Ronicky ever knew he was going to get dunked. Huge play from Dorito and almost puts this one out of reach. Ronicky forcing one challenge up, but Liquid got a lot to go. Three goals in a minute and 10 seconds. Gonna be tough here for Liquid. Again, they do have some footing in this game. They've had some good progressions downfield. Here's Speed, does get it out to Fruity. Not a lot of boost for him to work with now on zero. CRR will easily take that one away. Fruity went for the bump while CRR goes down the field with it. Almost 
carving his way through the defense. And you can see how far back White Demons are playing now. They're ready to let this clock run out. Dorito and Tigre at the half line. Big shot though, Rocky had a chance on it. Turned away by the defense. Liquid not going down without a fight, but they need to find the mark, the time, or the mark with some time left on the clock. Like the small ball to move down the field, but they lost possession, Dorito. Oh, he's just pushed off the ball by Ronicky. Ronicky trying to weave his way around the corner. And you are in impossible territory right now if your team Liquid White Demons holding strong on defense. Oh. CRR, last man. The third man. Whoever's been third man on White Demons has been in the perfect spot on this entire Liquid push for the last minute. They have not relented in knocking away every Liquid possession and creating plenty of their own opportunities. White Demons clicking well as they take another victory. Absolutely. Absolutely from White Demons here. Great game again. 3-0, shutting them out. And Jorby, you could have guessed it. Liquid here. Going to be taking a timeout. And I don't blame them, especially after that one. Getting shut out with nine shots on the board. Very tough for Team Liquid here. In a, in a game where, again, Jorby, we talked about a little bit. It, it felt like Team Liquid had some good opportunities here. But White Demons, they took advantage of some poor play from Liquid. They took advantage of some great opportunities given to them. And, uh, you know, shutting out Liquid here in this game is a strong showing. Yeah, I, I thought Liquid had a lot of great chances. Like, and I thought that they drew up some great opportunities too. Like they, they were constantly going for demos. They knew that the rotation was tough to break on White Demons. They were cutting off a lot of their passes and the challenges weren't really going in their favor. So they tried to create more space with demos, just chips and bumps, but somehow White Demons more time, like every single time, would just come out unscathed or someone was always available to cover whoever got demoed. Nobody ever got caught out in that game on White Demons on the rotation. So I don't know where Lick would have to go forward here because they are pulling everything out of the bag to try to get by yeah. White Demons. It's not working. Well, and, and you bring up the demo game and, and like you're saying, I think Liquid have tried to get that demo game going. I've seen Fruity go for multiple different demos um, and trying to open up that net. The issue is as soon as he, go for, he goes for it, it, it seems like Liquid lose possession. They, they have no continued attack. Even if they do get the demo, a lot of times Fruity turns around and sees that they lost the ball and they have to get back. I mean, you know, they're fighting for their own goal line at that point. So uh, for Liquid, I think the difference here, especially in that last game than maybe a couple games ago, where they were actually doing really well, it feels like they're just not holding on to that possession for as long as they need to keep that attack going. Yeah, and I mean, you saw in the timeout, you know, everyone taking their chances at talking speed was talking at the end there and see if Liquid can figure out how to beat them. But I mean, even plays like that, like Ronicky's just being harassed on his way back to the net before he even gets there. He's having to avoid White Demons attackers trying to take him off the pitch. And, and White Demons, I know we've been talking a lot about how Liquid have been in the fight, but uh, you know, White Demons, it, it's an incredible performance with the amount of pressure that Liquid have put on to always have somebody available to cover, to always yeah. have someone to <laughs> test the ball in midfield. You know, they are matching the pace, if not determining it in the match. Obviously it's three to one. Liquid got no more chances, no more outs. They got the timeout to buy themselves a couple of more seconds, but that's it, Corelli. We head to Wasteland Night, and it might end all here. Uh, let's see what they pull out here. And you know, what could be their final game of the tournament. White Demons, they look strong, but not unbeatable. Liquid have shown up in a couple games, really. They got one win, but they've shown up in a couple games that have kept close. They've certainly been on par with the White Demons. See if they can pull it out. Another time here. Well, Tigre, he's had a standout performance in the match. Oh, yeah. He started off with a hat trick in the match. And now look at this. A couple of shots at the net to start things off. And Liquid already feeling that pressure. It, it just, you know, it's, it becomes, it becomes that, that accumulation becomes so much. But Ronicky hey. looks to take it down a few more notches. White Demons get scored on here by Liquid. Yeah, great work here from Fruity, just going into the challenge hard, knowing that it's going to ping off that corner. And look at the placement for Ronicky, even with all the players in front of him going from left to right, he shoots to the right side and beats him to the far post. And Team Liquid, the timeout works. They come out on top here in the first minute. Nice wait, or nice patience from Ronicky, rather. And CRR expecting a higher bounce, he doesn't get it. Here come White Demons again. Saw two jump there for Liquid. It's not too bad as long as Speed gets that, that type of clear. Now White Demons on defense. 
just as good at Li as Liquid is finding each other in space, forcing Liquid to play laterally when they'd rather be more vertical. Yeah. Again, I'm, I'm just watching the last, you know, 20 or so seconds from Liquid and, you know, look, they're staying on the White Demon side, but there's a lot of these booming clears that are just straight back to a White Demon player. Liquid not keeping that possession, I think, is a huge detriment to the offense. In fact, I think it gives benefit to White Demons and what they're trying to do. Here's a second touch from CRR. Oh. Down and away to tie it up. This man has been phenomenal this series. They've just been trading clears back and forth. CRR finally finds the hole. Speed is nowhere close to make that save. Perfect first touch means he doesn't need boost to make it happen. That was a beauty. I think that's what happens. Oh, Speed oh. might get one off the kickoff here. Yes, sir. And it goes. Speed gets his team back on top. And I was about to say, you know, it felt like White Demons, they were starting to pick on this Team Liquid offense where, you know, they would give up the ball quickly and then the transition was on for White Demons and they were able to, able to find the target. But Team Liquid here getting that kickoff goal will completely deflate White Demons. And hold on oh, a second. Maybe another kickoff goal. <laughs> All right. All yeah. tied up. You know, why not a third? Yeah, they always say third time's the charm. What happens when you nail all three? Yeah, uh, you know. I guess that's a hat <laughs> trick. We literally have a name for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see on this kickoff. I don't. I. I would hope that that doesn't happen again, Torby. Hopefully, okay, we can clean ready? up the kickoff. Oh my. Ready? Oh no. Ready? He's gonna do it to him. He's ready? gonna fall. Oh! He's gonna do it again. <laughs> C R R Ace Combat third kickoff goal in a row. <laughs> oh, and it was so smart, too. He had just enough boost to get in front of that ball and bump him out of the way. <laughs> and another kickoff goal, this time with a little bit more finesse, Jorby, but still great work from CRR. I'm never going to have any any call better, th better than that. I'm never going to have a prediction. Like, I straight up Stumpy Goblin that one. I'll... <laughs> uh, it feels pretty good. Feels good for White oh, Demons. What a pass. pass from CRR! Oh. You know, Tigre, he wanted to commit, but yeah. he knew that was high risk. It was smart. It was smart. I think a lot of players would have gone for that one. And the conservative <laughs> approach from Tigre, I think, was the smartest there. See if Team Liquid can put something together. Speed goes for it. He's beat by Tigre now. CRR on the uh -oh. dribble again. Uh -oh. Is he going to do it once more? It's Fruity to flick it away. Dorito trying to clean it up. White Demons, they have looked so dangerous. Even in that one-on-one -on -one situation, CRR has looked phenomenal. Here comes out the speed, oh. and he doesn't get the touch. That was the transition for uh, Team Liquid. Uh oh! And now the transition's on, out to CRR. It's wide open for White Demons, a two-goal lead. Wow, this is a great clear from Dorito. CRR in the perfect spot, and he nails it. Nobody anywhere in sight until a Liquid player spawns after the goal is scored. And that, I mean, White Demon, CRR, Corelli, in, in the last minute, has just taken over the lot. A hat trick for him and for Liquid getting caught out once again. And just feels like White Demons are just the faster team. It just seems like they're more yeah. prepared, like they're ready for everything. And, and it's not like that craziest things are happening in this game. It just feels like White Demons know how to roll with the punches better than Team Liquid right now. Is that, you know, Dorito has had his like flashy moments, but he's been that cog where his, his follow ups have been perfect. Like every every single time it feels like he's the guy that's in that in that follow up spot where you need him to be. Otherwise, you're in a high pressure situation. Oh, oh. botched pass. But Ronicky got over CRR just a little too much juice. Nice challenge from CRR on top of it. Liquid, they are out of time. A minute 30 left on the clock, but with a two goal deficit and how the offense has looked, it doesn't feel like a lot of time. CRR kicks it up high and Rocky's able to cut it off. Speed on the right side, can't commit. Maybe Liquid can push something here, but they only got a minute. They're gonna need something. They try to get that passing play or the passing Ooh. game going. This one comes back out to Rocky. Okay. He drops it off to speed. And unfortunately, just too tight as the defense was coiled back on the goal line. They were able to see that one out. CRR, a little bit more boost. Not going to be able to get back to it. Speed, trying to set something up. Less than a minute to go now for Team Liquid. Dorito makes life a little harder for Liquid. CRR right on top of him. Dorito commits, and Speed has the save. Liquid, not where you want to be with 42 seconds left. And up high again, Ronicky has Fruity downfield. Fruity kicks up the speed. Try to go underneath. Ronicky follows him. Speed in traffic. Oh. Ronicky can't get there. White Demon's defense 
impenetrable. CRR, no boost. Now, Fruity able to get right over him. Dorito collects his, but Speed throws it down in front, and Ronicky's just too far behind. Liquid can't find any room. Wherever they try to buy some space, it turns out that they got outbid by White Demons, and Dorito are all over them. And the passes have been so good from Liquid as well. So smart. This one's going to go off the crossbar. Time running out for Liquid. And a great couple of progressions from them, but just not enough. Team Liquid going to fall to White Demons, who have just been playing out of their mind in this series. All three players, as Fruity gets one for the road, he he's, gets a, a, an escort to the back of White Demons' net. And still not enough for Liquid here, but White Demons, boy, oh boy, a team to watch out here for moving on because all three players at different points in this series stepped up. T. Gray started off hot. CRR, I think, played phenomenally throughout the series, but especially late. And I think Dorita, like you said, really kind of mended this team together to keep that attack on. And I feel like White Demons, a huge contender going forward. Wow, man, CRR, three for six. And I... <laughs> You know, that, that's how good he looked in that game. Like every chance he was given in a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, he won the lion's share of them. And there was just no answer from Liquid. And I feel like we were a broken record saying, wow, <laughs> Liquid have all the right ideas. They're, they're doing all the right things, but why can't, like White Demons were just the better team. Yeah. Straight up, they were the faster team. They made the better plays. They took advantage of all of their opportunities. And as a result, they'll be moving on in the tournament, not Team Liquid. One more quarterfinal left to uh, even out our semifinal matches. Come back to find out who plays this team after the break.